Startgrenze! Ciao, I am M and she is F. For the past 11 years, we have been sailing life together. It all started when we met in Milano, nailed our studies and got our first jobs, drove through Iceland and Norway, air ballooned on the Vadirum Desert, moved to Bologna to work on shiny new things, got in love with Tortellini, sailed with amazing friends, got married, ate in the best restaurant in the world, hiked the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu, skied on the Dolomites, got new jobs, moved to Germany, bought a Tesla, explored the beauty of Iran, and for the last 15 months quarantined in our Munich nest. Our next goal is to get to know our home better. So let's jump on Jarvis and welcome to Explore Europe the Panda's Way. Hi guys, we are going right now to get our COVID test in order to drive to Italy tomorrow. Wish us luck. See you there. We reached our destination right there. So we booked this test at the beginning of the week and we are going to take it. It's uh, completely free here in Germany, in Bayern. And it's very cool. Guys, our tests are negative and we can cross all the borders that there are between Germany and Italy. Germany, <laughs> Austria, Italy. We can go and see our family. So we switched to preparation mode now. It's Thursday evening. We finally finished working and now we prepare ourselves for the voyage ahead to cross two borders <laughs> and reach our families. So let's go preparing and we see you tomorrow morning for the big voyage. Good night. While I wake up and prepare a nice breakfast for me and Effe, let me catch up with you. In September 2020, you have already seen us driving back to my home to meet our families after the first Covid lockdown. Little we knew at the time that the second wave of pandemic was about to hit Europe and we would have been unable to see our parents or cross any border for that matter into Italy or anywhere else for the next 9 months. Finally, last week both the Italian and German governments eased their restriction on intra-Schengen border crossing at least after the spreading of the virus started to slow down. The new rules allow us to drive back to Italy presenting a negative Covid test done not earlier than 48 hours before crossing the border and registrating on a portal which should be used in the future by all EU countries and currently only Italy adopted. After taking our tests yesterday, we have no idea if someone is going to check the results or our online registrations or how they are going to do that but surely today we will attempt the five hours drive back home to finally meet our parents again after nine long months
It's Friday morning, we're now well rested, clean and ready to attempt our border crossing to Italy. Yes, wish us luck. <laughs> We just started our journey and uh, right one minute after we started we heard that the radio that the Austrian government from yesterday introduced a new registration means so we have to register online apparently and uh, I just looked onto the website after stopping driving of course and after like two pages where I had to input my data, the vehicle number and so on I clicked the reason for entering Austria and it mentioned that um, if you just transit Austria you don't stop, you don't have to register. But I guess they are going to check that so let's see and let's see how, how long we have to wait for the line when it will be an interesting travel this one, I'm sure of it. And we also forgot to buy the bread so I had to stop and go to the supermarket to buy the bread. But I think now we are good, right? Oh good, already you're set. So we just need to pass through Austria and to Austria and uh, and then see how the border to Italy will be. So two borders await us. One is from Germany to Austria and the second one is Austria to Italy and for that we have a registration and uh, of course we have our tests which we took yesterday. So wish us luck. Oh. destination for winter sports and even summer hikes from Munich. So it's a very very famous town with a lot of um, painted houses and a very Bavarian flair, South Bavarian flair. We are not used to think to South as being the mountain region for us in Italy. The north is the mountain region and the south is the summer. Is the yeah the sun side <laughs> place but here in Germany is actually the other way around which is quite weird for us but we are getting used to it so Oberbayern means the upper Bavaria it's actually at the south so it took a while to get used to it <laughs> and this is really the we could say the capital of Oberbayern so Garmisch Partenkirchen with the trailer on the road is it a trailer i don't know if you want you can correct me down in the comments below and uh, now in front of us there's a stretch of road to innsbruck which is all through the mountains and it's really scenographic and really beautiful to drive and to watch so i hope you enjoy it in a while we will come to the first border which is from the germany to austria and we will see if somebody will check us or if they will need to wait something i don't know we don't know what to expect so i don't know i'm kind 
kind of nervous. What do you think? Yeah, I'm too. Let's hope everything goes well and yeah. Let's see, finger cross, guys. Ooh, there's also a nice uh, bike way here. Cool. Yeah. Look at this mountains. Anxiety level? Moderate. <laughs> so you see, there's the queue. Uh oh. I think at least we will have to wait for a while. Oh no. Oh and no. we better prepare our test results. Yes, they're here. Yay! So we are ready with our COVID results and documents, and it should be fine. Maybe we have to explain them that we just drive through and we do not stop in Austria. So the online registration should not apply for us. Let's see. Worst case, we get rejected and we have to drive back home. <laughs> or we stay be, in Garmisch. Which would be a bit of a bummer. Or we stay in Garmisch. Can also be a... Which is not a bummer. No, not totally, mm -hmm. at least. <laughs> have a nice Wiener Schnitzel with pommes. Uh -oh. It looks like it's quite fast. I was about to say the country, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's a bit of a long queue because it's all the way to there, theoretically. So this line here is the border. We are here. Let's see how long it takes. So we are almost at the border and we stopped to buy a vignette for the Autobahn in Austria and behind that is the queue for the border control. Let's buy the vignette first and let's see how it goes. Baby, I'm a true believer And I wanna stay true to my faith And I'm tired of feeling blue Wanna lose myself Okay, we got the vignette, we paid the Austrian autobahn for one year and now it's different than in the past you don't need to put a sticker on your windscreen anymore but Finally. you just register the your kennzeichen your registration number of the car in a database and that's fine Finally. why are you still wearing a mask <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> Okay, so now we will attempt to cross the border and let's see if we can manage all that queue and get out alive. You could see in his face his reasoning like now come on these guys are completely and well prepared so yeah so, so they were not actually stopping every car just one no. every four or five cars so i guess they sample and yeah but no really checks fast. to no checks. enter austria yeah so now let's drive to innsbruck we have to stop to the supercharger maybe no, actually Jarvis is saying that we still have 30% of charge and we can get to Brenner Pass, should I believe him. <laughs> but 
anyway, we can get the autobahn and go to Innsbruck and uh, then to the Italian border. And let's see if our second border will be lucky as, as this easy one. As, as this one. As easy as this one or not. <laughs> okay. So, see you at the supercharger. See you in a bit. Ciao. Ciao. Something interesting is going to happen here because in order to like driving through Seifeld we're gonna drive downhill on a very steep road and that's the what, what Jarvis says we're gonna do so we're gonna basically recharge our batteries uh, see the peak there super cool huh so basically we drive forward but as we are going down, the car is recharging the battery. It's a very efficient car. Thank you, Jive. Thank you, Jive. Right now the car in front of us is just braking so it's dissipating all this energy coming from going downhill in heat through the, its brakes while we are of course dissipating part of the energy because no machine is perfectly efficient but some of this energy is going back to the battery as electricity so we can later use it. So that's why the Tesla Model 3 is so efficient. Just to make you understand how dangerous this street is. Yeah, it's pretty steep. So there are plenty of shields here telling you not to brake too much or your brakes will overheat. And there are even ramps for tears to brake in case their brakes are going to fail. This part is pretty steep. Maybe 20%? Mm -hmm. I think more. 22, 20, something like this. But on the other end, you can have a great view on the Inn Star. This is the valley of the Inn, and the Inn is the river that flows through the city of Innsbruck, which is called Innsbruck because it means uh, Bruch. Bridge. Bridge on the Inn. Bridge on the Inn. Tani! Pizza. Turn to board. And now, because it's kind of late and we are hungry. Queso fritze! Buon appetito! Buon appetito! So this is the toll for the Europe bridge, the highest bridge in Europe. We need to pay 10 euro. Oh. Last year was nine. Bitte Quittungsknopf drücken. Which means press <laughs> if you want a receipt, but I do not. So let's go. Well, we can definitely tell by the fact that it's like 15 outside. <laughs> Not really typical weather now. Let me quickly share with you one of my biggest struggles since we've been living in Germany. And that's bottled water. In Italy, sparkling water usually comes with a red label, a red... So, yeah. So sparkling water is red, right? And in Germany, sparkling water, water is blue. 
that means because I, I want still water <laughs> I always grab the blue one and I always end up getting sparkling water <laughs> I cannot get it straight. It's like, yeah, I mean, will I ever learn? I don't know. <laughs> but for now, we are sparkling water. Did I talk too soon, guys? You the did. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side, you can see the controls for entering Austria, which we will have to do on Monday. Very nice. I really don't miss borders within Europe, guys. The, this thing sucks. Who does? It's really nice to have the freedom of crossing countries without waiting in lines for checks of papers and documents it's really annoying let's see how this one goes i hope that we will go back to a no border situation very soon but it's for a good cause so it's okay it's okay for this time let's not get used to it though <laughs> To sum up, the uh, Austrian-Italian border was the easiest one, no check at all. A spot check in the, on the border between Germany and ah. Austria. We are still unchecked and on Italian territory, so now we are in our own country. We need to stop because the battery of job is at 12%. This road is <laughs> like... So now we stop here at the supercharger in the Branca and then we drive home. It's about two hours. I'm so excited we are going to see our parents. Ah! <laughs> the road too. <laughs> That's the excitement in the road. Uh, bumpy. Oh, okay. We should okay. the supercharger here. Yeah. In a bit. Hi, we are charging at the supercharger now. We are starting to be very happy and excited to see our parents again after so many months and a little bit scared because we told them we would be there for <laughs> lunchtime and it's 1.23 p.m. and we still are two hours away. <laughs> so for sure they will kick our Perrito, time. perrito! Ooh, 
Wow, 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 perrito. How cute. So there's a model X there with the door raised up and it moves a lot, like for the wind. It's doing like, hope it's not breaking. No, but you know, it's kind of a wing. So We are charging at 137 kilowatt. It's a really good charging speed. So we will be able to resume our driving in 10 minutes, theoretically, to get to Ronzone with the almost discharged battery. Maybe I will charge a couple of minutes more just to be safe. Perrito! <laughs> so happy. He's super happy. So oh, we are God. going to the auto grill there now, to the rest station. Let's take a look. Rastazione. Rastazione. We are in Italy now. Yes. Auto grill. <laughs> <laughs> finished our stop, we charged Jarvis at 74%. The only place in Europe with the sun is the Brenner Pass. Yeah! <laughs> a friend once told me that at the Brenner Pass there's always the opposite weather as in any other place. So for example today it's cloudy in Austria, it's cloudy in Germany and it's cloudy in Italy. But on the Brenner Pass it was the only patch of sun in all continental Europe probably. <laughs> While normally when it's sunny either in Austria or in Italy or in Germany or in both of all three of them, then on the Brenner Pass you will always, almost always find a big storm or raining and snow. So it's really funny that every time after I, I heard this story, every time I drive through there, it's, it has always been true. <laughs> That's so funny. So we have one hour and 33 minutes to go. We are almost there. Goal is near. of this road guys is called the Rocette and it's one of the tightest road I think I have ever driven tightest and curvest road that I have ever driven and welcome to Mendel Pass and to the province of Trento Hi guys, we did a quick stop just four or five kilometers to, from home to show you a epic 
really epic and wonderful view, a panorama point. And here is, this is the station of the Funicolare della Mendola. It's a little train that goes down to Bolzano. And there is also an hotel and a bar. And look at this stunning view that you can have it from here. Curious fact, guys, this palace in front of us was the one of the summer residences of the former king of Austria, so the Kaiser, Franz Josef. It was a little house for when he wanted to come here and hunt with his friends. Sissi was never here, he came only alone with friends. The first border was quite funny and uh, now it's dark again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually good. Okay. No. Okay, I wait. I'm not sure. I wait. Good effort. Hey. Hey, man. It wasn't me. Greetings! Sì! <laughs>